How do you write an equation of parallel and perpendicular lines? This video is for task 6.2. Make sure this is the title at the top of your paper. And then go ahead and give the actual title of task 6.2. You can find that in your binder or on your outline. Okay, here's a reminder of what your notes should look like. You should have the section and title up top. You're going to go ahead and copy down the notes from this video. I, the video title goes here. You also have another video for this section that's also going to go here. And once you're done taking all notes from both videos, go ahead and give a summary. We're going to begin the lesson by talking about parallel lines. And here are a few examples of parallel lines that we can see in the real world. And here you can talk about it in terms of directions, or it could be on a field or part of a building. And now let's look at an example of a, some mathematical modeling. So here's a word problem that talks about being a farmer a market and you pay $3 for every hour that you sell at the market. However, if you were the member of the previous year, you would be, you'd be given a membership fee that was reduced to $50. So here they give the red line that shows the total cost of a new member. And then the blue line shows the total cost of a returning member. And notice that both equations have the same exact slope. And that's because, as you can tell by just looking at the lines, they are parallel lines. And parallel lines have the same exact slope. So if the slope is 3, then the other parallel line will also have the same slope of 3. Now that we understand how to identify parallel lines and we understand that the slope is the same for parallel lines, we're going to go ahead and graph a line parallel to the given line, but we're going to do step A and step B. So step A is we are going to give the equation for the given line. So to do that, we need to know where the y-intercept starts at. And then we also need to calculate our slope. So I'm going to go down 1 and then over 4. To this point right here. And so remember slope intercept form y equals mx to give our equation of the line. My b is going to be 5 and my slope is down negative 1 over positive 4. So my line is going to be y equals negative 1 over 4x plus 5 which is the y intercept. And remember the equation of the new line is going to have to be is going to have to be uh, have the same slope. So let me go ahead and move my screen up. There we go. So I can write down there. Perfect. And now I'll do the second line. We know that it's going to have to have a slope of negative one fourth, and we could choose any any y intercept that we want. So I can just go ahead and do maybe negative two would be good. So we'll start at negative two. And then go down one and over one, two, three, four. And graph my line. Sorry, I can't use a ruler. And notice that the two lines are pretty much parallel, but if I was using a ruler, it would show exactly how parallel it is. And you are going to practice an example just like this in class. Notice that for the, both of the slopes of the equations for each line, they have the same slope, and that gives uh, parallel lines. So here are examples of some perpendicular lines. Notice we can even talk about directions again being perpendicular to each other. Remember, anytime we hear the word or see perpendicular lines, we think of 90 degrees. There's perpendicular lines in a right triangle, on a kite, and of course used for directions is even used in sports as well. Can you think of where you can see perpendicular lines at? Okay, here's a graph, and we're going to just compare the two equations for perpendicular lines. This line right here that I'm going to circle in red is for, that is the equation for that line. And the blue is going to go for this line here. And notice that they're perpendicular to each other and it's notated even with a 90 degree angle. You can measure it as well to, fig to um, make sure. And now let's take a look. What we want to do is compare their slopes because their slopes help us make either parallel or perpendicular lines. Notice for parallel lines it was the same, but for perpendicular lines they are not the same number. Instead, what happens? Well, you flip the you flip the slope and you change the sign. And that way you will get the per perpendicular line. 
So remember, slopes or perpendicular lines is opposite sine, oops, opposite sine, and it's also the reciprocal. So we reviewed so far parallel lines and having the same slope. We then reviewed slope intercept form, which is y, equal, y equals mx plus b. That's the equation that you can write for a given line. And then we reviewed the slope for perpendicular lines. Remember, perpendicular lines have opposite sign and reciprocal slope. So let's take a look at the line that we have and come up with a formula for this line. And we'll write this equation in black since it's for the black line. So it's going to be y equals... Well, we need to know what the slope is, so I can go up 1, 2, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. So that's going to be 4 over 1, or just 4x. I can elongate that, there we go. 4x, and then the, the y-intercept is negative 1. So there's the equation for a line. So what would the perpendicular line look like? Well, it would need to have the opposite reciprocal slope. So it could be y equals negative 1 fourth x. And we can make the y-intercept be at the same point, or we could choose a different point. Why don't we choose a different point? We can do it at, let's say, positive 4, so plus 4. So now let's graph our red line. We're going to go to positive 4 on the y, go down 1, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. And now if I graph this line, these lines should end up perpendicular to each other. So of course if we use the ruler and then we could also check to make sure they're perpendicular with a compass, that would help. But for us, uh, since I don't have a ruler, the lines look a little off. Notice though, we can check with the looking, just looking at the slope of the two lines. The first line, the black line has positive 4 as a slope. And then we flipped it, made it one-fourth, and then made it negative, and that gave us our perpendicular line for the red line. Okay, go ahead and rewatch the video if you have some difficulty with parallel and perpendicular lines. I want to remind you that since you're in geometry, this is a review of algebra as well. And rewatch the video if you were having any difficulty.